Hi everyone, in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can use some JavaScript code in your Storyline projects and the example I'm going to show you today is how to put the system date from your computer and have it display on a slide in your project. Now JavaScript is a programming language and it allows you to extend the functionality of Storyline and do some things that you can't do just with the ordinary triggers alone. So in order to put the date or have the date display on my slide here, I needed to do a couple of things. And I've the first thing I've done already is I've put in a, a variable, uh, and I've called it system date, just a text variable. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to insert my text box onto the slide, and I'll also insert a reference to that system date variable. Now I'll make it a little bit larger so it's easier to see. And there's a couple of places you can get the code, your JavaScript code. Uh, you could search for it on the internet, uh, you could write your own code, or a really easy way of getting it is to go to the community and ask people uh, to, to share their JavaScript code, which they're more than happy to do. And, and indeed, if, if you're after this particular piece of code, uh, let me know and I can share that with you. So what I'll need to do now to um, uh, to my project, I've got the reference to my variable in there that's going to show my date. I'll now need to add a trigger to my slide. And in the trigger panel, in the action row, there is a execute JavaScript trigger that we can use. Now when you use that, you get then a, a box with three dots, and that's where you need to add your JavaScript that you've that you that you have. So I'm going to paste my JavaScript in there and then say OK. And then as with other triggers you have to say when you want that action to to be fired, when you want that trigger to be fired. So for me I just want it to happen when the timeline starts but depending on the code that you use you might want the user to click a button or have it uh, execute when the timeline uh, gets to a certain point. Um, and the object is the slide itself, and then I can say OK. Now the thing with JavaScript when you use it in your projects is that it doesn't work in preview mode. You need to publish your course out to actually see it working. So what I'll do, I will publish this course, and I'm just going to publish it locally, just publish it to CD. And now I can view my project. And there it is. That JavaScript code has pulled the date from my PC and is now displaying on the screen. So that could be handy if you were uh, creating some kind of a certificate kind of page that you wanted users to, to print and, and keep. Um, you can have the, the date and that date will change um, depending on the day that they uh, complete the course. Now at this, uh, the, the default uh, code that I had displays the date uh, in the US format. However, if I go back in, I can go back into my code, so I can go back into my trigger, and this line here, it's displaying the month, the day, and the year. I could change that to day, month, and leave that as year. The reason why I called my variable system date was because of this very last line. Uh, the, the code is actually uh, changing the value of a storyline variable. And in this case, the variable name is needs to be system date typed exactly this in this format so that it would work. So then I can update my code and say, OK, now I'll need to publish it again to see that working. So I'll do another publish. And I can view my project. And there it is. Now the, the date is displayed in the Australian date format. So that's it for this uh, screencast using JavaScript. There's lots of different uh, ways of using JavaScript and lots of community members that will share uh, their code with you. Um, but inserting the code into your project is easy as adding a trigger and using the execute JavaScript action. See you next time.